shit the right way. Old people do shit different. Let me let me get it together. <sighs> what up to my Grammy family? It's Grams Jagged checking in and I'm back with another baby. Yeah. Fuck. I gotta wake up. Let me turn this air off. It's too loud. Hold on. back what a do game day two episode two of had you worry it's my birthday month for the newcomers let me give you a little background on what january is january is january with a little twist now the twist is hannah now the extra twist to that is you probably don't know who hannah is well let me introduce y'all my name is Hannah. Hey guys, I got that name from my dad. He named me Hannah because he said when I was younger, I always had my hands into shit. So he was like, I'm gonna, name, I'm gonna give her the nickname Hannah because she always touches shit. I was always touching shit when I was younger. I was always into shit. I was always silly too. Like I was so playful and I was super mature for my age. Like at the age three, four, five, and six, I was super alert. I was telling jokes. I was fun to be around. Like I was hanging with my parents. As crazy as that sounds, right? That sounds weird as hell to say I was three, four years old hanging with my parents. But that's the truth. I was dead ass hanging with my mom. I remember my mom like asking me when I was like six or seven, she was like, you wanna ride with me to New York? I was gonna go make some, run some errands. And I was like, yeah, I'll ride with you. And this is when we stayed in Pennsylvania. So riding to New York was equivalent to what it is to me now when I'm leaving Chattanooga to go visit Atlanta, like the distance and everything. And how people feel about Atlanta and Chattanooga, like they feel like that's the big city, city life. That's how it is in Allentown, Pennsylvania. So when my mom said, let's go to New York, I was hyped as shit because we finna go to the city, finna go shopping. I know she was gonna buy me shit. And she said on the ride that, you know what I'm saying? She told me that she liked chilling with me. I'm tell I was like six or seven. She's like, that's my whole best friend. She liked chilling with me because she could have adult conversations. I just was always mature for my age, no matter what my age was. Now, let's not confuse mature with me being silly as well. Like, I could be silly. I got a, a, I'm a kid at heart. I ain't gonna lie, I like to have fun, I like to laugh. But mature, that came from, my maturity came from me always being wise and making wise decisions and considerate. I was always considerate. And it takes a lot of strength. It takes, it's a gift to be considerate. Like that's a strong gift to have, which is discernment and being considerate and being kind. That is a gift that I learned in my single years that not everybody possess those gifts. There's not a lot of people out here that's being kind for no reason. There's not a lot of people that's out here that's being considerate of other people's feelings for no, for no without any benefit. Like these days, people only doing something if they see what the reward is. 
You don't find too many people that's out here just being nice just for the fuck of it. I don't know why I had that conversation. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it led to that. But I feel like that was for somebody. For a lot of people. For people. I feel like that was for a specific audience. If it don't resonate, let it deflate. But, y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am about to get ready for work. I look crazy. I haven't brushed my teeth. I haven't washed my face. I don't even know what I'm about to wear. But I do know that I'm going to give you guys episode number two for January. Because it's my goddamn birthday month. I will be 37 in the next 26 days, y'all. That's wild. That's wild to me. 37. I was just turning 22. And I remember my, that age because that's when I first started like drinking for real, like drinking beer. I started off drinking beer, but when I turned about 26 or 27, um, that's when I started dabbling with drinking liquor. I wasn't ever like a liquor head for real, for real. Like I really don't really like liquor. I don't really like mixed drinks for real. I don't like taking shots for real. I'll do it because that's what everybody brings to social events. But me personally, I can sit around and I can have a beer or two. So I remember being 22. I remember turning 22 because that's when I started like being able to purchase my own beer. I was living in Pennsylvania. So going from 22 to goddamn 37 is a big difference. God, I be trying not to reflect on the past so much, but I feel like my past is my experience and my experience in life is what brought me to where I am today. So it's like, you can't, it's okay to know where you're heading, but please don't ever forget where you came from type shit. So I'm so, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer of that. I can't forget where I came from. Like I remember the days where I didn't have it. I remember the days when I got down, was scrunching up, looking, digging in my pockets, going through my closet, looking through jean pockets, trying to find just a dollar that I may have left behind. Like, I remember those days. And then I remember the days when, shit, I ain't gonna, f I ain't gonna damn where the dollar came from. It was getting spent. I didn't care. I didn't. I went shopping and I ain't never had to, I ain't have to look at the tag. I remember those days. So to, to, to not remember where the fuck 22, where 37 came, if I was just time to celebrate in 22, that's a goddamn problem. Cause I'm getting old, getting old y'all. <laughs> I never done see the day where I'm crying down the wall. <laughs> Yeah, oh, but I love it here because <laughs> I know y'all ain't ever seen a 37 year old look this damn good. And we're gonna embrace that all 2024. We're gonna embrace that all January. We're gonna celebrate more life. Cheers to sexiness, cheers to growth, cheers to my accomplishments because. A lot of people feel like 23, 2023 wasn't good to them. I say some good shit came out of 2023. I literally know how to take the good out of goodbye. 2023 started off rough as fuck, but the things that I was able to take away from 2023, which is knowledge, which is happiness, which is peace, aware of self, the more self-love that I have for myself, not to mention my crib. Like, how can I be mad at 2023 when so much greatness came from it? Like I've experienced way more better days than bad days. And I love that for me, so. I know y'all tired of me reflecting on my past. Y'all say that a lot. <laughs> not my, not, you know what? I gotta stop considering the people that don't know me like that. And I have to just really speak to my crowd. I always do this within my videos. Like I have to remind myself which crowd I'm speaking to. And I gotta remind myself who the hell I am. Nigga, I'm grand. 
I am Grams. And Grams is, Grams is the shit. If you don't tell yourself you the shit every day, then you losing. As soon as you open your eyes. If you don't thank God and, and, and be grateful and then turn around and pop your shit and remember who you are and remind yourself who you are, then you losing. I feel like I played my, I played my, I played the humble role so much that people started forgetting who I am, for real. Like, Graham's Youngin, that name rings bells. It do. Whether anybody want to admit to it or not, Graham's Youngin is a household name at this point. I know somewhere in this world, there's couples arguing about Graham's Youngin in their house. People that I've never probably spoke to before. Probably that never been around me. I know somewhere Grimm's Youngin is being mentioned. I know that. And I have to accept that. And I gotta stop playing so goddamn humble. Because I got people that realize my worth too. And they wanna see me pop my shit. I done got down, fell back so much to the point where I'm like, I wanna stay quiet because I don't wanna seem like I'm not humble. But I am humble. I'm humble enough to know that I'm the shit. I don't give a damn who mouth is coming from that's speaking ill. They know I'm the shit. That's all I had to say. That might be my, that might be the all and be all to this vlog right now. Reminding y'all while I'm looking in this mirror to, to remember that Graham's the shit. I'm the shit. <laughs> that's crazy. Gotta go.